we we rolling. We're hot. Everybody make a big deal out of uh, your boy Trump. He went over there to England and they say he disrespected the queen by walking in front of her. Video? And he didn't bow to her. But like, but I thought y'all all Americans was against monarchies and shit. <laughs> Why would you bow to a queen if y'all was against a monarchy? <laughs> he flexed on that whole bitch. He walked on some of her. Yeah. He uh, uh, whatever, but. All I see is on the map, especially when that bitch walking, had to walk around him. She changed direction one, changed direction again, to go, she's trying to get around him. All I see is just a, a Esau's power, he's losing his power, man. You know? Those curses are slowly eating, eating off of us and going to some devil. Oh, um, here we go. Oh, that's that limitation. That's right. 4 and 21. Oh, you got limitations? Yeah. Oh, that's the spirit. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, so the daughter of Edom is the Edomites, the so-called white people. That's right. But they gonna drink of that cup that we drink of. They, they got us a slave, and now they about to go to slave. Damn right. That's what you call righteous judgment. Damn skip. <laughs> and these people out here, they ain't got, they don't know what's going on. They ain't got a clue. You <laughs> see, you see the look of who is this on his face? Look at that red, what's at the bottom of the, the bottle? Of the yeah, that's at the bottom of the drink, right? The dregs. How do you feel that you mean? D R E D G. I thought it was D R E G. Yeah. G G down out there. Graves. Maybe it's D R E G. I don't know. Oh yeah, next year. Yeah, I just found a nice Oxford uh, dictionary too yesterday. It's got etymology dictionary. Should have brought it out, but I missed it. That's what it is, though. The, the, the bottom of the drink. Stuff with the spit and floaters. It's so nasty. Esau's gonna drink. He go because he's gonna get the leftovers. He ain't gonna get nothing in the kingdom. Esau's gonna be on the bottom, bro. Right now he in his ruler shit. The kingdom is gonna be a slave. They gonna lick the dust off. Yeah. Deuteronomy 37. It says, "And Yahweh thy God will put all these." I'm trying to see. Uh, and, uh, Deuteronomy 36, and the hour thy God was uh, to circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed, to love the hour thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and thy whole will. And the hour thy God spoke all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, and on the person that hate thee. And I said, Turn and make a portion of the hour of thee, and all the enemies, which he did not commend to them. Right, what are the curses like? Being having a byword, which that ain't really shit, but it's still a fucking curse, you know. I want to be called 
what he looks like, man. Not a, an African fucking American or a nigga. Or a black nigga. Or whatever fucking coon or alligator. Possum. <laughs> All the many names they got for him. Fucking fly word. Um, ch your children getting slaughtered. That's a hell of a curse too, man. Your fucking children getting slaughtered. And I ain't never met a motherfucker that want to see their kids die. Man. That's a hell of a fucking curse. Lack of food, having, not having good ass food to eat. This devil won't get it all. He won't get it, he's gonna get it all. This motherfucker fed us slop, man. He had us open the, the motherfucker open the gates. We run out the motherfucking gates during slavery and we eat out the slop like fucking pigs, man. They so hungry. You know? What's that thing called? They put this food in? Trough? Yeah, man. We was eating out the trough. Like, they say that in that movie. Was that Goodbye Uncle Tom? Yeah, well, that's right, yeah. And it was fighting for a position, too. That's, that's where, a hell of shit, man. That's where the custom of eating chitlins come from. Oof. That used to be just food they gave to the slaves with chitlins, pork, uh, the uh, lobster. The worst of the pig. And now they think lobster is like some kind of uh, luxury meal. Right. But back in the day, that's all nasty creatures they used to feed to the slaves. That's crazy as fuck, man. Worse of all the foods, man. He's some goddamn lobster. And then you know Esau was pissing and shitting in the food, too. So she's foul. Yeah. They still do. Right. They still do. They add on to it. They put the human flesh in the food. You know, so all these same curses gonna come back on this devil, but devil. But they say all kind of restaurants, uh, like McDonald's and Burger King. McDonald's and Burger King both tested positive for human uh, DNA. It got so bad to the point where I remember I worked, my dude was telling me, like, if, uh, they say there's food, there's a human inside of, uh, some famous restaurant, I forgot what it was, you know, he said, I don't know. I just listened to you guys' conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You're cussing in one mouth, yeah. saying the Bible together. You know, James 1 8 says a double minded man is unstable in all of Say that again. Let the James 1 8 says right. a double minded man is unstable in all of What you mean by I heard, that? I heard you guys, what? You, and then you talk about the Bible. But you said double-minded, though. Yeah, that means double-minded. Oh, you God doesn't cuss. The so Bible stop. said, let the woman you know, be silent. First Timothy. You know what? You need to learn First the Bible. First Timothy. You don't know the Bible. That's you need to stop word. it. It's, it's black. I got, I got a scripture for you, though. Hold no, on. 1-8. James 1-8. Look it up. Word. Look it up. The word, word. Hey, yeah, the word pisses in the Bible. Are we allowed to use that? Or just the words you say we can't use? That's what you right, say. Right. I don't know. It's in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Of course, you, course you don't know. Stop cussing. You don't even know what cussing stop means. Cussing. You don't even know what it means. I just heard you say something. But you, but you don't even know what that means. The Bible is now. You don't even know what cussing means. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. I'm going to have it and you're going Clamor. to hell. We already in hell. We already in hell, fool. We already in hell, fool. Already in, already in hell, fool. Food. Yeah, kind of Dumbass. Yeah. This ain't fucking heaven. This is heaven yeah. for the so-called white man. This is his heaven. That's why this devil owned the fucking banks. That's why he's the law. Dumbasses. I'm talking about cussing. I heard you cussing. I'm about cussing. to see here somebody playing some cussing. rap music. She ain't gonna cuss them. Cussing. Yeah. Everybody talking about yeah. cussing. She's so probably be cussing her grandchildren now. Right. Especially the boy. Get out of here, you no good little nigga. Oh, hypocrite ass devil. Adulterous. Bro, exactly, man. I hate a fool. Ain't nothing like a fool. Um. <laughs> That's all the spirit of Jesse right there. Stop cussing. Stop cussing. What you say, first John, first James, um, I don't even know what you done got them. Don't put you the scripture. <laughs> but I mean the scripture clearly say let not woman uh, assert authority over the man, but be in silence. She was trying to assert authority over us. Well, that bitch wanted some dick. That's all. That bitch wanted some dick. Yep. First Corinthians, second Corinthians eleven and six. But though I be rude in speech. Oh yeah, Paul said, but though I be rude in speech, yet. Not in knowledge. Not in knowledge. So, go ahead. But we have been thoroughly made manifested among you in all things. Yeah, what's that scripture? Uh, is that uh, the Philippians where he said, I count all things but dumb? In, in the Greek, if you read the original Greek text, let's find that. Uh, dumb. I think it's in Philippians. You know what that said? 
Well, Paul actually used an actual Greek cuss word for shit. He said the word shit in Greek. In the Bible, he said shit. It's in the Bible. So there ain't no commandment in the Bible that says, oh, you're not allowed to say shit or fuck. Okay, that's it's not in the Bible. They make it up new laws that ain't laws. Mm -hmm. Trying to say, you know, but they won't even follow the actual laws that's in the Bible. The Bible said don't eat pork, but they gonna eat it anyway, and then make up a new law and say you can't say shit or fuck. That's not, you know what I mean? These people are crazy. Uh, so Philippians, Philippians three and eight, it says, uh, I get yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of the outside, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may be in my shot. Yeah, he said, I do count them but dumb. He said everything is dumb. But in the Greek, the original Greek manuscript, he said the word sky belong. And the word sky belong, and y'all don't know no Greek, the word sky belong mean, literally means shit. It don't mean poop, it don't mean dookie, it means shit. Okay? It said, King David said, hey, kill anybody that pisses against the wall. What does that mean? Uh, piss a piss bad word, though. But. Yeah, there's all, the there's all kind of cuss words in the Bible. See, the Bible's a, a manly book. It's a book for men. It really, it's not really for the woman. She can read it and learn, but the Bible's a, a manly book. First Corinthians 2 and 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech. Yeah, yeah cause we don't come out here speaking on per hey, that's some uh, the preachers and the pastors up in the churches ripping you off, taking all your money. They speak in perfect English, never cussing, while behind closed doors, they taking advantage of the widows in the church, having sex with all the women. They took all your money, bought an Escalade, got a Rolex. You know what I mean? Oh, you got a fresh low dollar talking about I need millions of dollars so I can buy me a jet plane. These people are gone, bro. What's that scripture? They backwards, they gone. They all together gone. All they do is imitating their fucking slave master. That motherfucker come talking sweetly. Yeah, Esau your ass, never man. cusses, does he? Hell no, man. Esau, the devil, Hell the so called no. white man, he don't never cuss. All these businessmen, Wall Street. They don't never say no cuss word. All these politicians, these politicians are the biggest crooks and thieves and swindlers on the planet, but they give a speech, they speak in perfect English. With a bunch of fucking oh, lies. Get that Romans, uh, that Romans, uh, I'll get it. I'm gonna get it, Romans 16, I got it. I'll get what you mean. With excellent your speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything among you, among you, save Yahweh Shai and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words and man's wisdom, but a demonstration of the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And yeah, that's all words are powerful. That's why the spirits get riled up. Right. Cuss. That's some funny shit, man. You don't know this fucking world is passing the fuck away. <laughs> shit. You know, ain't gonna be that that whole time. This, this day is coming when these devil fucking uh, cussing a certain fucking certain word, man. They ain't gonna be coming out of people's mouths, man. Shit, people gonna be thinking certain things when we put the fucking death. Yeah, cause the Lord what? Uh, What's that? What? That's Where the go, spirit. That's how it goes. He said, That's the spirit. That's the spirit, man. The Bible just comes come here, come here, man. Though. Come here, man. Show us, show us where. Show us where in the Bible. You want to use my phone to do a Bible search? No. All right. We can show you all kinds of stuff. That's why the Most High said when you come to the church of the house of the Most High, keep your fucking mouth shut. You know? They're making up new laws that ain't in the Bible. It's, as we said, y'all don't even want to keep the actual laws that you have, but y'all want to make up new laws that ain't law. Like saying cut, so called cuss word. Like the Lord actually cares if you say shit or fuck. That's crazy. It's all about the intent of your heart anyway. These motherfuckers commit all kind of foul acts of sodomy and, shit. About them, and murders and witchcrafts. Adultery. They commit adultery right. left and right. Ain't saying nothing about that. Ain't saying nothing about that. That's cool though. I mean, you need to leave him. He ain't no good for you. Reprobate. You know, that's how they talk. But we the prophets, so 
we right and everybody else is wrong. So everybody can just fuck everybody, right? Nah, because I have five wives. Bro. Just five? Yeah. Where you get five from? Five? Where? Just, what's his name, bro? They have all them wives. There's nothing wrong with having. That's not his own. He, 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 he just, no, there's nowhere in the Bible where it specifies to have five wives. You can have many wives. Yeah, that's, that's why right, man. Can you guys say, uh, what's that, four? Yeah, we with that. Check I mean, this out. Let me, let me read the scripture for you. Come yeah. listen to this, brother. You know that. Yeah. Come yeah. listen to this, man. Come listen to this, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, uh, and in that day, seven women. And that's what that's what we out here prophesying about that day. And really, the word, the number seven represents completion. That's a, a spiritual number. Right. Seven means it can be a hundred women. Completion. It means perfection. Because the Lord created the earth in six okay. days and rested on the seventh. So in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. You know what I'm saying? What you got, bro? My man. My man. Hey, but look. What's up? So the uh, government making it, making it seem like you only fuck around one, man. Right? Well, that's that's what they're supposed to do. Well, so remember the scripture in Job 9? They broke the Bible too. Right. No, 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 no. You're wrong on that. They're just using our book to manipulate the world. Okay? No. Well, they took a, they took like 66,000 words out this bad boy. They didn't rewrite nothing. They inter they they uh they took it out of Hebrew and Greek and put it in language, English language, so we can get it. Because we're in the time of prophecy. So we can't we everybody, the men of the Lord, we didn't we didn't come in this world learning Greek and Hebrew, did we? That's something we gotta study and learn. So he gave us his book through the spirit in English for us to read. King James. King James had a bunch of wise men, they which translated out of other languages and put it into English, you know? But he was King James was a so-called black man. How they know all the stories? Man? How they know the stories? Because all this in writing, all this put in writing. You know? Africa. No, not Africa, man. Not Africa. You know, there's different nations in Africa. It ain't just Africans. You know, and within that African nation, man, there's many nations, along with the Israelites, us, where we went into Africa. And we weren't, I mean, we weren't kicking it with the, uh, the Hamites. We still live separate, just like we separate with them, uh, separate from them now, man. When you see, uh, when you see them filthy ass Ethiopians hanging around in the hood, you don't see them nowhere in the hood. But if you do, they with their own people. So same thing back then when we fled out of Egypt, uh, out of Africa, out of, uh, out of, out of, out of, out of Jerusalem. We went into the interiors of like the Lord. Before the Lord was born, Joseph and Mary fled into Egypt. So that, that was so that, the problem. So that thing was Samson, that shit real? Samson, yeah. Samson, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was gonna get. That's yeah. why y'all wear y'all beard long and shit. Right, right, right. Well, right. Say right. right. Yeah. yeah, you ain't supposed to edge it up with nothing either. You ain't supposed to, you ain't supposed to wear your hair long. No, no beautiful hair, right? <laughs> I ain't got that problem. <laughs> no that beautiful hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I know what I was getting. Problems. That wind feels good, bro. Proverbs three and eleven says, "My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord." You know, because we out here correcting brothers, you know, and bringing them back. You know, it says, neither be wary of his correction, for whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, right? Yeah. Those that are let coming in, the ones he loveth, they corrected. But they, they you take, know, they take that love as hatred. Right. But what about the others? <laughs> what about the others? Ezekiel 9, man. That's the other. It's that Ezekiel 9, you know. But men speak with uh, rough words, man. Men speak loud. Men speak, you know, men want to, a real man want to be heard, man, you know? Well, now, that was Acts, the book of Acts, Antioch. Yeah, the word Christian was the nickname, because originally the Christians were Israelites. It was all dark-skinned people. But modern Christianity, they ain't got nothing to do with the Bible, you know what I mean? Because the word Christian actually is the Greek word for Messiah, or the word, the word Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. It means to anoint with oil, right? So, so, uh, so the, really the word Christians means the anointed ones, or the followers of the anointed one. okay? But only an Israelite can be a Christian. Only. Because really, when that, I mean, we don't really use that word Christian, because that's just a nickname that they gave to us. 
they tell you that in the scripture. But we, we're Israelites, you know what I mean? That's our national, that's our, that's who we are, not Christian. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this, hey, this little told me, if you die, you come, you never die. It's like, you must be so bad. What's up? If you die, you come back as something different. You well, you come, that? you come back as you again. You may look different or whatever, but you come back as you. That's reincarnation. That's that's easy. That's that's Bible. That's basic Bible 101. You hear me? Right? And reincarnation is in the Bible. Check this out. Heaven, though. Before we get that, let me get this real quick. Acts 11 26. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for the to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Yeah, so the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So, and they was called, hold on, what's that, the book of Acts? So they had been teaching for a minute, right? Because the Lord, they was teaching before the Lord died. So they've been out there teaching. The Lord done rose, left the earth. So what was they called before they was called Christians? They was Israelites. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. Okay, Hey, yo, you say you come back as something. I thought you, no, you come back again heaven. as you, man. Heaven and same, hell. You right. come back as the same spirit and everything, man. I thought you come back. I thought you were going to get into heaven. No, hell. you in hell now. Yeah, this is hell. This is hell now. You in hell now. Actual hell. You in actual hell. You know, level hell, you, 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 you got all you need. You, you got all you need to eat, man. You got yeah. good, healthy food. Yeah. You do. Oh, nah, nah, none of this food help. There shit you go, killing. there you go, you in hell. This shit killing me. You know, yeah. your your children got everything they need and want. Nah. You know, do you, you fear for their life every day? Yeah. There you go, you in hell. Heaven and hell are conditions of life, man. And so what, what's happening then? What's heaven, where the, that's when the Lord comes, we gonna be in heaven, cause he's gonna reverse, he's gonna reverse everything. Everything right now is controlled by the wicked. Nine, Job 9. Bro, Job 9. No devil, man. Well, you know, there's... Look, 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 hear me look, out. look, look, hold up. These are all There's only one force. God, <laughs> God gave you the power to use it for evil. Say it again. So you got to say it good, again. Bro. Say it again. There's only one force of power. God. There is one force. You can use that force for good. Yeah. That's right. Left hand side, right hand side. Yeah, bro. Right. No devil, bro. Right. But, but, but listen, but the people, they're, people, devils are people, man. Yeah. It's, you know, you messed up. That's there is a spiritual demon doing wicked shit. Though. Doing wicked shit. He's an angel on the left hand side. Right. But look though, the Lord got power him. though. Yeah, huh? the Lord controls. The Lord controls Satan. Satan followed the Most High's orders. Book of Job. Yeah, that's in the Book of Job. And, and another one. And another one in Chronicles where it tells you the angels will come present themselves to, to the Most High again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I like learning, man. You know, this is where you, this is real learning right here, man. We get you know, when you learn the truth, when you learn the truth. I've been brainwashed, bro. All of us were brainwashed. But the thing is, you gotta be born again, man. That's learning the truth. You know? Look at that, Job. Job, uh, 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if the, so the wicked controlling the earth, what are you gonna do with it, man? And that's why they, they said they covered the face. Well, we got no signs out here today. The wicked. Bro, he's, 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 he's wicked is really the white man. The Esau, the Bible calls it Esau. White. That's the wicked. You know what I mean? Two thirds of our own people are wicked. But the people controlling the earth are the white. Edomites. Huh? White. I'm an Israelite. And not all white people are Edomites. Because you got the Israelites are scattered among all nations. That was a curse for, for us being wicked. The Lord curses. And he scattered us among all the nations. That's why you're going to have Israelites, uh, because originally everybody was dark skinned, right? But nowadays you're going to have Israelites coming looking like all nations. Like we always say, you know, uh, Bruce Lee's an Israelite. When you look at his spirit, you can tell he's one of us. He ain't got the same spirit as all regular chief, you know what I mean? He got a fiery spirit. He died. Yeah, yeah. Hey, for being wicked. So, so the, yeah, darker, the darker you is, the closer you Closer to God, you is. Who told you that? The black community, <laughs> black conscious community. Five percent. Five percent. So that's they going off because they only probably have five percent of knowledge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They going off. <laughs> you know. But yeah, they try to say yeah, five percent to say that yeah. you're a God. You got to have a hundred percent. That's, you ain't no that's God, just the spirit, bro. man. Five percent. That's God. just the spirit, man. Five percent. Five percent. We got a hundred percent. 
Yeah. You know, 100%. I prefer 100%. Yeah. I don't want a part of that pie. I like to eat the whole thing. Okay, I got you know, scriptures in that one. You know? I mean, I got so many scriptures in the deck, man. I know. You know, you know what I'm saying? But check this out, man. Our Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> oil. I got to keep wiping my hand. Hit the oil. <laughs> you know, it's, it's spilling, boy. Hey, hey, bro, we, got, we got stains from being out here. Hey, you, know, hey. you ever see the car sitting there in the driveway? And you, they finally moved it and all their oils on yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. What's bro. up, bro? Nah, just read the script. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, But if it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, you know what hearken means, right? Nah. To listen. Yeah. To listen, observe, and do, you know, hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee hey, and hey, overtake thee. Hey, hear me out, folks.